When I was still playing part-time, uh, it was my pride and joy as well. Renault Clio, blue, best car of my life. Went down to my local. The landlord said I can get it yeah, MOT'd for free. Jamie Vardy, who is best known as a superstar professional soccer player for Leicester of the English Premier League, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, including homes in Melton Mowbray and Lincolnshire. The former home's property was recently sold for $1.25 million in 2017, despite refurbishing it because everyone found out where Vardy had lived. He decided to sell the house to have more privacy for his family. Therefore, the family had to relocate to a more discreet location in Lincolnshire. It has been reported that Jamie and his wife Rebecca Vardy want to build a two-story extension containing four bedrooms at their Lincolnshire mansion, an extension that would see the total number of bedrooms in the home increasing to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a house tour that you want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any real addresses, and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anybody. Jamie Vardy has already had quite the lucrative career, killing it professional soccer, garnering a net worth of $12 million. In addition, Jamie has had a number of lucrative endorsement deals with the likes of Nike and Beats by Dre. A late bloomer during his football career, Vardy has become regarded as one of the most prolific strikers in the world of football. While the road to success wasn't always easy for Jamie before turning professional, Vardy combined playing non-league football with a job as a technician making medical splints. I know, odd pairing. In 2007, he received a conviction for an assault following an incident outside of a pub, and he had to play with an electronic tag fitted for six months, while his curfew also limited his playing time at Stocksbridge Park Steels. Vardy drank heavily every night during his early days at the club and would turn up at a training facility still intoxicated. Lester chairman discussed with Vardy over what he expected in his life, and Vardy gave up drinking and took training way more seriously from then on. Vardy refocused after the earlier nightclub assault incident and with the arrival of his first daughter Ella, Vardy pulled a full 180. In 2016, Vardy was voted the Premier League Player of the Season and FWA Footballer of the Year. As underdogs, Leicester won the title. He later went on to win the Premier League Golden Boot for the 2019-20 season, becoming the oldest player to win the award. How does Vardy continue to be dominant at 34 years of age? Well, apparently he does not exercise in a gym and that he consumes Red Bull caffeinated beverages and snooze smokeless tobacco. Whatever does the trick, we will take a deep dive into the luxurious mansion of Jamie Vardy and future plans with the estate. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith and today we're bringing you yet another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. And if you do like these videos, please ring the bell for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next down in those comments below. All right, let's get into this video. Jamie Vardy's rise from non-league footballer who worked in a factory to then become a Premier League title winner, a record breaker, and an England international is nothing short of spectacular and so was his former mansion. Designed and built way back in 1968, the sprawling 5,900 square foot mansion is sprawled over three floors and features an impressive eight bedrooms. The core of the house is its large open plan kitchen with its four ovens decked out with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and an island perfectly centered in the room. The open plan kitchen leads to a dining room that comes complete with custom fittings and fixtures, oversized windows, and an elegant chandelier soaring above. The house has been upgraded with a high-tech smart home system that will enable its new owners to control lighting, sound, heating, all from their iPhone. As part of the refurbishment, Jamie and Becky Vardy turned one of the downstairs rooms into a games room, complete with a billiards table and a bar, perhaps to entertain Jamie's teammates when they come over to party. The mansion became somewhat of a party house over the past couple of years, hosting engaged housewarming, and birthday parties, as well as a big party to celebrate Leicester City winning their first ever Premier League title. The couple added a custom-made curved staircase with an elegant runner which complemented the exposed brickwork in the reception hall. Atop of the stairs was the dazzling master suite, which occupies the entire second floor. The third floor features the remaining seven bedrooms, including two with en-suites. The en-suite bathroom features dual sinks, a large soaking tub that overlooks the grounds, and a large standing shower, perfect for relaxation. The property sits on 0.7 acres of land, 
with gardens to the front and rear of the house. The rolling lawns provide ample space for footballers to practice their skills. Despite building a home that they loved, the couple had claimed that they had no choice but to move because they needed more privacy. Jamie and Becky had claimed, the home gave many special memories for us, so it was a big decision to move on. We had some great times while living there. We planned our wedding from our kitchen. It's where the team came together on the night Leicester City made history. Sophia learned to walk there, and it was Finley's first home. It's a big part of history for us, but it's the right time to move to a home with more space for our family and where we can enjoy a sense of privacy. Shortly after selling their former home, Vardy had splashed out $2.5 million for a four-acre property mansion. This home was located in the countryside and is said to have just 80 residents nearby, giving Vardy and his family the privacy that they always wanted and deserve. The land is approximately 15,000 square feet and boasts eight bedrooms and five bathrooms, as well as five reception rooms. The home features all of the goodies, including plentiful dining and living room spaces, decked out with lavish furnishings, custom fittings, and fixtures, a cozy fireplace, and large flat screen television, perfect for binge watching live sporting events, and a wet bar, perfect for entertaining. I mean, this guy's got it all. In addition, the rooms featured oversized windows, giving the rooms tons of bright light and floor to ceiling glass doors, which provide access to the terrace. Vardy's Dig features a beautiful kitchen with all the essentials and boasts a breakfast nook and butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with. The master bedroom features a sitting area, private balcony access, and a walk-in closet that could easily pose as an additional room in the house. The house comes with an abundance of luxe features, including an indoor swimming pool decked out with lounging chairs, perfect for training. The home features a state-of-the-art gymnasium that puts regular gyms to shame. The property also features a professional-sized tennis court and has additional space in the form of two annexes one of which contains three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a kitchen. In addition, the home features a sauna, jacuzzi, as well as stables and paddocks, plus a pretty dope backyard setup. The backyard features a gazebo, barbecue area, fire pit, and kitchenette, perfect for throwing an outdoor party. Despite already owning a massive home, Jamie and Rebecca Vardy have plans to build a two-story extension containing four bedrooms at their Lincolnshire mansion. According to planning documents submitted to South Keviston District Council, the extension would have five rooms with the total number of bedrooms in the home increasing to 12. I mean, can you believe that? Okay, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Jamie Vardy's homes. After seeing those homes he snagged, what did you guys think? Was that everything that you'd expect out of Vardy? I mean, personally, I think it was a shame that they had to say goodbye to the old house, but you can't go wrong with an indoor pool, so I think it's a win-win for him. Out of Vardy's features, which one were your faves? You can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in another video.